Hello guys, welcome back to Watch Addiction Watch Reviews. Today we are taking a look at the AV4080-04. So this chronograph is one of the newer releases from Aviate, the aviation-themed brand. And I think this was a really nice release that they put out, especially in this black PVD case with red accents. And I think it's just an all-around very cool-looking watch. This is running one of the Mecha Quartz movements. Uh, most of you guys are pretty familiar with those movements by now. It has an automatic sweep or a sweeping motion of the chronograph hand. And uh, runs on a battery, so you're kind of getting the best of both worlds there. You kind of get that actuation feeling when you hit the chronograph pusher over at the 2 o'clock position, which is iodized in red, uh, which I think is pretty nice looking with that black case, as you can see there. Anyway, this watch itself is $285 new from AV8, uh, but you can save 20% using the code WATCHADDICT um, at checkout on any AV8 timepiece. And this one I do like actually more than many of their other timepieces I've reviewed. And I'll tell you why. First of all, the quality seems much better. The strap feels a little better. The overall design seems much more in tune with a standard pilot's watch than some of their other designs, which can seem a bit, you know, confusing with the skeletonized cases and such. Anyway, I'm getting to some basic specifications here. We have a 13 millimeter thickness. They're able to keep it down because it's a very slim movement, the Seiko uh, Mecha Quartz movement that's actually inside of this watch. And it's a 44 millimeter uh, diameter here, so definitely a little bigger than most of their other watches. It has a 50 millimeter lug width. We actually have an inner rotating bezel here, which is quite cool. Uh, so you can time 60 minutes as well as run the chronograph at the same time, which I thought was pretty cool. We have a hardened mineral crystal with anti-reflective coating. We do have a genuine leather band as well, which is 22 millimeters, pretty standard for a 44 millimeter case. Nice engine turned style. Uh, PVD bezel here, which I think is pretty cool. It doesn't really look like the Rolex Datejust, so if you're thinking that, it's, it's very different, as you can see there. Uh, the crown is very unique as well in that nice shape there. I th thought that was pretty cool. Pull and push crown, 50 meters of water resistance, pretty typical on most AV8 watches. So anyway, I didn't, didn't even actually mention the name. I just gave you the model number. This is actually the Duke, the Hawker Harrier Duke chronograph. And as you can see that there's always a history behind the name of the watches that they that they put out. And if I can show you here on the uh, case back, which is brushed, you can see the Hawker Harrier airplane and the Duke, uh, which is pretty cool with the dates there. If I get you in a little closer, September 7th, 1953, Mecha Quartz movement, all stainless steel, 40, 80, 50 meters. Nice little uh, aviation theme there. I like the airplane, aviate logo. Uh, simple yet very nice looking. The actual finishing on the actual case, which is solid stainless steel with that PVD black over it, is actually pretty good and there's no blemishes or anything like that or sharp uh, edges underneath. Um, so no issues with that. As you can see there is the crown to rotate the inner bezel. And I'll show you how that works right now. Um, so basically you have 60 minutes here. As you can see there on the chapter ring you have 60 minutes as well and you can time. So you just line it up just like a dive watch and you can time up to 60 minutes while running the chronograph. And I want to get you in a little closer here on the dial, as you can see there, that anti-reflective coating is coming through hard right now. <laughs> but as you can see, we have two sub-dials which are actually recessed. We have these nice kind of applied markers which are loomed as well as these skeletonized pilot hands. Nice little red tint and a black date wheel. I think that looks pretty nice. Doesn't really stick out at your eyes. If it was white, I think it would look weird. The black and the red really goes together as well with the um, pusher here as well as a little a little ring around here as well if you didn't really see that a red ring around the crown so everything kind of matches it's very color coordinated I do like that you have that kind of vintage styled you know markers in terms of the color uh, which some might some might like some might not now to actually function this chronograph you have the pusher over here which it really sticks out in that red color I'm just gonna hit that and it starts it and you see that nice sweep there so you can time up to uh, 60 minutes, as you can see there, there's your 60 minutes, and then you have your running seconds down at the bottom. So then you can stop it with the same button and reset it, and it flies right back to the 60 or the 12 o'clock position. So very easy to use. The crown as well has very good grip on it, no issues there. You get a quick set date down over here, and then you get your hacking position. Obviously, it's a quartz-based movement and you can set the time there. So no issues there. Push it back down and you can always of course see the numerals through the skeletonized hands, which I thought was pretty cool. Now you can bump this a little bit sometimes. Um, so you know, I'd be careful timing something with this maybe if you're gonna be, you know, obviously doing something like a sport or something or something intense. But if you're wearing it as a desk, a desk watch or 
a work watch, you should be okay with that. Uh, the, the band itself is actually pretty cool on this one. Genuine leather, brown color on the front, and it's black on the back. I thought that was pretty cool. I haven't seen this design before from AV8. So we get two leather keepers here and a black PVD buckle with the logo and the two double stitching over here in white, like an off-white kind of to match the markers here, which I thought was pretty cool. Anyway, let's see what the loom's like and uh, let's get into it. I haven't tested the loom yet, actually. And here's a nice little loom shot for you guys. As you can see there, uh, the loom is pretty good on the hands. They did, they did a pretty good job applying the loom to the skeletonized hands there. Uh, definitely a bit brighter than the loom on the numerals. Uh, but yeah, it definitely does glow at night and definitely can see it doesn't fade too quickly. I think it's just uh, okay for this price point. There she is on my 6.5 inch wrist. Really thought this watch would wear a lot bigger. Well, I already know I've already tried it on before the video, but it definitely really doesn't wear that big. Um, I was quite surprised by that. I think due to the fact that it has a black PVD case makes it look smaller on the wrist there. The strap is definitely broken in or will be broken in a couple wears in, so no issues there. But as you can see for 44 millimeters in terms of diameter, it definitely doesn't really wear that big 50 across. As you can see there across my 6.5 inch wrist, definitely flattens down on the wrist and is definitely very doable uh, for my wrist, 6.5 and up I'd say. You should be okay with this watch, but it's very comfortable on the wrist. It's not too heavy considering we have that mecha quartz movement versus a mechanical movement which would weigh it down a lot more and of course make it a lot thicker also. Now this is not the only color variation you can get in this watch. There are a few other different ones. Uh, one has some yellow accents, which is actually really cool in a stainless steel case. I think that one's pretty cool. Um, but if you're into something really stealthy and black like this, then probably this one's gonna be for you. So there you have it, guys. This is the new AV8, the Duke Hawker Harrier from uh, AV8 Watches. Definitely a pretty cool and unique watch. Definitely doesn't look like anything else out there on the market in terms of, you know, homaging, you know, IWCs or something like that. Definitely has its own true kind of original design here. I like the red accents on the pusher and the dial as well, the kind of vintage style markers or numerals, I should say. The skeletonized hands, uh, it feels like a good quality watch in hand. There are no quality control control issues. And the, the straps that they come on are always very good, so no need to worry about that. And yeah, you do get the um, typical, you know, care box, little care box package, the smaller one. The box, it does come in with a polishing cloth and your warranty as well. Um, but yeah, that's pretty much going to be it for today. I couldn't really find any issues with it other than maybe it could be 42 millimeters, even though it doesn't really wear that big. But um, my wrist is only 6.5 inches, a bit on the smaller side there. Um, but a lot of you guys with bigger wrists are definitely going to be very happy with this one. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below as usual. I will get back to you there. Definitely subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And I will see you guys real soon. I will get you a little closer in on the dial here before I go. Um, yeah, just a very cool looking watch. See you guys real soon. Bye.